Welcome, foolish mortals, to a Disney Dreamlight Valley video. I am your host, your ghost host, here to discuss with you some very, well, very large issues that I see uh, involved with Disney Dreamlight Valley. First issue on the docket is, uh, well, let's see, the level situation. Now, this game came out about a little over two years ago at this point, when it was in early access, and it gave early players the ability to level up as they progress throughout the game. You know, doing your basic task, completing dreamlight task, and of course doing the main story, leveling up alongside your villagers. Now, while your villagers stop at level 10, you do not. You can surpass that and go to level 40. Now, we are now in the official release of Disney Dreamlight Valley. It is now available on consoles, and a lot of things have changed since their initial release. Originally, they were going to do it to where... It was a free-to-play game. You paid for it. If you were in early access, you got to be a beta tester. It was cool. You got the first experience against everything else before anybody else could actually get the game. Uh, sometimes companies will limit how many people can get access to their game early. And in this case, uh, you know, Disney Dreamlight Valley was available to anybody who went onto a console or onto Steam and bought it. But it was given as a warning that it was in early access. So bugs are, you know, bound to happen. And there were quite a few of them and still are. And they do seem to address them. Uh, one issue that I still am running into is the waterfall rock wall from Lion King. Uh, I finally found that in my store after about two years of playing and never seeing it. Finally got that in my store just to buy one, just to find out that I cannot buy any more because it says it's an invalid item. Now, originally when you tried to buy the item from Scrooge, it would pop up and say, Absolutely nothing. It would just pull that up and you'd keep pressing buy and nothing would happen. Uh, however, they have since patched that, but they did not patch the issue where you're not able to buy multiples from Scrooge. So, you know, uh, Game Loft, if you're watching this, which I know you're not, please fix that soon. If anybody else having that problem, I'd love to know about it. But on top of that, we have now, like I said, been into the game's release for about two years now, and uh, we are still at level 40. Now, I don't know if they've ever addressed this or if they plan to address this, but you would think that for those who are just starting to play, like my fiance, uh, she is not even to level, I believe, level 30 yet. I think she's still in the high, mid to high 20s. And, uh, you know, she's still there and still about, uh, getting that ability to level up and, you know, still experience those cool things. However, like hundreds and thousands of other players at this point, we've already reached level 40. So that once the main game released, what are we doing? I was kind of under the impression, or at least thinking, that, you know, once the main release hit, they would go ahead and raise that level cap maybe to 50, or maybe even to straight up to 100. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. One of my ideas that I've come up with is that maybe each, you know, big update raise that level cap about 10 more levels, because it would probably take about that amount of time, roughly two and a half to three months in between those times, for uh, us to level up and max out again. So I don't know if it's an issue of them just not knowing how many, you know, what items to put in there. Maybe every 10 levels give us ability, or give us moonstones, you know, uh, like a thousand moonstones every 10 levels. I think that would be just as good of a reward as, as any. Originally, the big rewards would be the cool clothing outfit items you would get. The, uh, the forgotten, like, thorn darkness kind of, I you know, outfit. And then the wizard outfit or the, the magi, whatever you want to call it. It's really cool. Came with wings and all that jazz. Um, but once you unlock those, there really wasn't anything else to unlock. You know, you got money here and there. But, you know, if you really want to keep people wanting to play further, you know, a lot of people are kind of just, you know, done with the story at this point. They're done with even the DLC story, maybe. Uh, maybe at this point, go ahead and make it where each, like I said, each update, each star path update, add another 10 levels to that. So that way people can continue to unlock new things. Maybe at level 50, you give us a thousand moonstones, level 60, a thousand moonstones, and then really cool items in between that. The reflecting each villager in there, you know, maybe as you know, like you go to level 40 to 45, you unlock a cool little statue, or maybe you could incorporate those types of item I, i'm trying to think about what types of items i really i'd like you guys to let me know what you think item wise would be cool to unlock throughout those further uh, level updates do you think that we should have more of a level or a higher level cap for this 
I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I personally do think that we do need a higher level cap than level 40. Level 40 is it for everybody. And most, most if not all, people who played the game in early access hit level 40 well before the actual official release. Now, moving on to my second issue of this uh, particular video. There was a post put up on the Disney Dreamlight Valley Reddit page discussing the possibility of the game becoming a monthly subscription, life sim sort of game. Uh, what I have up here, I'll read to you folks now. Thought about how I'd want to play DDLV now as, I, as how I want to play it down the road. I played the story and the ability to have Disney character interactions, but how can players move that needle to get more engrossed experience? I have some suggestions, they insert their link for its current form, but overall, could Gameloft maintain the game and players with a different model? Speculation start is what they have. Let's say the game truly has had 5 million plus players, which I don't know if it's quite there yet, uh, between Game Pass, Apple Arcade, etc., and the people who just purchased it, conservatively, let's say an average of 50% or 2.5 million of that, paid $30, which is the sale price for that game. That would mean Gameloft made $75 million over two years on the game. If they developed the game with 100 devs, contractors, uh, more beginning less than they have now, uh, making an average of $125,000 per week for those two years, and that would equal up to $25 million for that portion of time. So if all else would equal, pretty much what they're saying is to make up all of this money, what if Disney Dreamlight Valley or Gameloft decides to make this a monthly subscription? So we already have a lot of games. It kind of reminds you of like a battle pass. Well, your battle pass of Disney Dreamlight Valley is your star path. You unlock in-game currency either by doing the dream snaps, which are very helpful, by the way, if you need to earn more money uh, for those special items. And now that we're getting items from past star paths in this particular shop, it makes it a little more worthwhile, in my personal opinion. If you'd missed them like I did with the Centennial event. I missed that. So now I can go back and hopefully wait for those to come through. But, however, what I'm getting at is what if all of those start to become something you pay for monthly? Now, right now, it's a one-time purchase of the game. And then it's also like if you decide to buy any in-game currency, the Moonstones, anytime you want, you can. But what this person is saying, in order to make up all that money, and in fact, what they're doing now is technically losing money for them, what if they made it a monthly subscription to do? I think this would be an absolutely horrible idea, personally. This is not something that people would want. One, we already paid for the game. Two, we're already paying for the extra to get the Moonstones in there, unless you're one of those players that solely focuses on just unlocking your Moonstones via the Blue Chest or via the Dream Snaps, which is totally fine. That, in, in my opinion... The Dream Snaps was an absolutely amazing idea because, one, it gets you back into the game a little bit more. It makes your creative juices flow, and then it also gives you an ability to where you don't have to spend money. You can earn upwards of, I think, 4,500 Moonstones just on a very good picture alone, and I have done that once <laughs> since that dropped, but I also did Slack and not do it for a while. You get that ability, though, to unlock Moonstones via that way. That is a very good idea on Gameloft's part. Now, however, if they were to go with subscription, that would cause problems. You already have battle passes like, you know, Fortnite and Call of Duty and all those types of games have a battle pass per se. And like I said, the battle pass for this game is the uh, Star Path. If you were to do a monthly subscription, I do not believe that this would make you more money. In fact, I believe it would make you lose money because, one, people don't want to constantly, people are already paying monthly for quite a few different things. You know, there are people who out there are using for streaming services, internet, actual utilities, and then you add on a monthly subscription to a Disney Dreamlight game. You don't need that. You absolutely do not need to be putting a monthly subscription on this game that, one, was supposed to be free to begin with, and then they changed their mind because, look, they, you know, they thought, and it's fine, they did say that it was subject to change, but it did change, and it caused a lot of problems in some people's eyes. I myself was not worried because, one, I already had the game. But I do see why that could be frustrating to people who were expecting it to be free and to download it. But in order to make up for that, they did add a lot of new items, a lot of free items for if you purchase it. So it's not really free, but a lot of really cool items, new houses, new pets, cosmetics, stuff like that, just to make up, and even more Moonstones to make up for that. Plus, the game does go on sale 
quite a lot. I know a friend of mine just purchased the gold edition on Steam for like $45, which is fantastic. So, let me know what you guys think below. I know this was kind of a bit of a rambling video, and I do apologize. But what do you guys think about, one, the first part of this update with the level cap? And two, what do you think about this subscription possibility? Now, Dreamlight Valley is not... Gameloft has not come out and said anything about this, mind you. This is all a big post, but... It is something that, you know, Dreamlight Valley and Gameloft do pay attention to. So, I love how I say Dreamloft and Game... Or, like, Dreamlight Valley, like, they're two different companies. They're the same thing. Let me know what you guys think below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give your big hitchhiker's thumb up. And, of course, possess that subscription button if you would like to see more Disney Dreamlight videos or Disney videos in general. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Ah, there you are. I see you made it to the end of the video. We quite enjoyed having you with us. Please remember to possess the subscription button. <laughs> we are dying to see you again. Oh, and don't forget to bring your death certificate. <laughs>